My partner Chris Dissinger and myself founded LDG on the, the firm belief that everyone deserves a quality place to live. In the early days we started doing all the work ourselves and uh, that includes my partner Mark, my wife Lisa. We, we built the foundation of the company but we had to do all the work and then over time we were able to add people to help us to be the nation's largest affordable housing developer. But what we're really excited about is that being a Louisville-based company, our plan for Lou 2.2 is our possibility to prove out the things we've been working on. Louisville has had a shortage of housing for so long that we have put such an emotional stressor on people that we're digging out of a hole. Prior to the pandemic, there were about 6,000 children that were identified as being homeless. We know that number has grown. Uh, we also know that number is probably very underreported. Well, there's a lot of research that really speaks to the correlation uh, around having access to quality, um, stable housing and how that really helps uh, with uh, outcomes, educational outcomes, health outcomes, and social emotional outcomes for young people. We have multifamily apartment complexes, but it's not just there to house them. We have education curriculums, partner with uh, hospitals to do health screenings. We have uh, computer centers, uh, playgrounds, you know, the children. So basically, it's a whole community. How many people are we going to keep from in and out of the ER? How many people are we going to keep from our eviction courts? Out of jail, out of that endless cycle and how much are we gonna prevent with our kids growing up in that cycle of their parents being stressed all the time, not knowing if they're gonna have a roof over their head. What we've learned from our, our work with the Institute for Health Equity is so much about the need for housing and the need for the dependability of the housing. And, and what LDG brings is that component. You know, if you're constantly being moved, if you're constantly having to just worry about where your next meal's coming, where you're gonna eat in, uh, in your dining room. Uh, that's the stabilization of that, and then build on the education can change the trajectory of our, of our next generation. It's time for us as a country to figure out a way to house our citizens in safe, clean, affordable homes. Opportunity to demonstrate that if you're able to provide quality, programming, again, make it accessible, making it free, um, that you can have good outcomes with young people. We can make a difference in the health status of those individuals that, that are part of, of that housing development. So it's a connecting of dots that made so much sense, in there. but certainly we see a, an opportunity with people in reliable housing to feel a sense of confidence about themselves that perhaps they hadn't felt in the past. Nothing goes further at helping your health status than feeling good about who you are. What we see is in every community work we work in, there's not enough housing for people that are able to afford it. And it just seems like every year the need grows much faster than the supply of housing. First of all, it's a basic human need, but second of all, it's an economic development thing is, is we get calls all the time from large companies that are trying to hire employees that can't find the reasonable places for their employees to live. We think that the commitment to go into a community in a permanent way and, and build permanency around neighborhoods and, and, and participate in the economy of that neighborhood and make sure that it is raised up, to make sure that, that we're employing people that are in those neighborhoods where the younger people there can, can build those trust relationships. Thanks to partners like LDG, we have now been able to make the promise to every kid within JCPS that's in the eighth grade up. We're making that promise to them that if they stay in school, do what they need to do, we will help them and support them and give them this opportunity for a post-secondary education. Uh, LDG has been fortunate. We've built more than 20,000 affordable housing units throughout the United States. But we're headquartered in Louisville, we live in Louisville, most of our employees live in Louisville, it's our home. We really, really want to make a difference. Our leaders have the opportunity to finally show the nation that affordable housing with services can put people in homes, keep them in their homes, 
and at the same time, heal our city.